and they're going well. down. <laughs> well, we're getting the action started right here, right now, on the main stage here at ECL 3, mm. live in Loughborough. <laughs> yummy! <laughs> yummy! And, uh, of course, Zealot, the only map for the, the FFA. The only suitable map, Mike. There the are many map arena itself. itself. Yep, Purple Arena. I don't know why we're also playing it on, uh, on Zealot. Maybe it's harking back to the midship days, but who knows? Anyway, we're going to be kicking off game one. Let's make some noise, UCLs. Yes, the FFA final. Get excited, get pumped. And here, I believe we're on board with Baxter. I see he's going to be spawning on the red street. Straight away in a fight with Blackjack. And Baxter's going to win that. Get the Blackjack, double kill. I, I, I'm calling choke. <laughs> I'm calling the choke. Already, no. straight away. Wasn't Baxter. We're on with Ramirez. Is it Baxter? Oh, sorry. We're indeed on Baxter. Jack B now. Nice, clean start. Yeah, Engaging. Fight, 57 there. Clean, he cleanly dispersed at 57 there. Takes it out himself. We're going to see a lot of that in the FFA. I think we're going to see a slow start. A lot of trades. No one really getting into a spree, but people trying to find how other people play. Yeah, we're going to be. It's, it's the first round. They're going to be feeling each other out. I mean, again, we want to be seeing players get nice little runs of two, maybe three kills. That's how you're going to start developing a lead. And Baxter in here is, is looking a nice uh, get a double here. Obviously, and that's he, what you want to do. Clean up people as much as you can. Getting in battles is probably avoidable, but you know. Different players have different styles, and Baxter's just trying to clean up, I think. Well, that's, that's what you want to do in FFA. We've got another tweet in from Josh Tarrant, who's calling Blackjack Solid Last. <laughs> the Blackjack Solid Last, and Gunner to win it. Again, no sweet results. Still on the goose, we have Ramirez. Let's Ramirez. hit it for the goose. Ooh, and he's on one kill. He breaks that, pops that cherry. Again, taken out straight away. We're going to see a lot of uh, trading, I feel, in this free throw. We're going to seriously high caliber of player here. This is a creme de la creme of ECL Loughborough. We are going to be seeing a lot of, you know, quick... I, I doubt we're going to see many shields recharge, if I'm honest, Dan. No. It's just going to be run and gun, die, kill, die. Maybe kill, kill, die. Maybe kill, kill. Bit of kill, kill, die. Oh, we're looking we at a triple in. Oh, oh, no. oh, reloading. Bane of your life. The bane of your life. Still on the move, though. Eyes across map. Remy taken out by a clean nade. I say we jump on board. Oh, Mr. Gunner. Mike, my sounds good. Sounds good. I've seen some nades thrown. Strong BR shots there. Letting the balloon reset quite. Very good timing of the shots, actually. We're going to jump on board with Gunner shortly. We are currently on board with. Oh, twin, no. Gunner. We are on board with Gunner. Gunner, Gunner. Yep. So. 20 gets away, and that was. He should have cleaned that one up. He's the two way. Let's see how he plays this. Let's see how he plays it. Again, we're seeing a lot of shields being taken, and there it is, a first shield recharge. I spoke too soon. Nice double cleanup. Engage the 20 in the fight, nice back and away. Red health. Who is this chasing? Vard chasing. He manages to clean up Rami. Not really any clear lead. Vard's currently at the top, but there's no sort of gap being created yet. No, it's still, it's still early days. We're not at the business end of the game yet. Three minutes. Max is having a pretty good start, though, and we saw him. He had a great start in the, in the very start of the game. And now we're seeing him. Is he going to heat up? Could he heat up? Or is the, is the calibre of player too good? Well, you never know. I mean, it's first the three maps, and you just have to stay consistent. If you stay second and third, you can just win it. You, can indeed. you don't have to win every single game, obviously, so that will do it for you. Well, Jack almost got a seriously embarrassing backsmack there. Someone managed to get away with it. So backs are in the lead now, sharing the lead with another player. 13 kills. Again, very early days so far. Buck 20, trapped under a base, but does not go down. Garner helps him out, cleans up Baxter. It'll be interesting to see how Vard now comes off his spawn. A lot of players deliberate whether to go main ramp, top mid, or would he push the street. Vard's going for the top mid route because he probably feels more comfortable. There's more angles, more cleanups he could get there. I think he's just fearless. Oh. I think he's absolutely fearless. A buck 20. Ooh, gives maybe him a nice little strafe. Start firming a bit more now. Maybe, maybe feeling a little bit more. 20 there with a good strafe, managed to stay alive. 57 cleans up Vard there with a nade. We're back on, still on board with Ed Vard off spawn. Oh, nice taking out Gunner's nade. Like he meant to do that on purpose. I don't know if that was deliberate. It would have uh, been very, very talented if it was. Vard's put himself in a difficult position here, staying, trying to stay alive. I don't think that's a, a great strategy in FFA. I think it's you're back in you know, five seconds. Why not? Why not get stuck in? True, very true. The fast respawn time does mean that you can just try and get every single kill, challenge a lot, and staying alive is, is good to do. I but sometimes dying can give you a better opportunity for more kills. You may get a better respawn, you may get a worse respawn. It's a gamble, but I don't think that players should be holding back so much. We want to see a nice, rushy, aggressive free for all full of deaths. Oh, and Baxter is falling into Fusion's trap. ECL 1 winner now on board. Let's see what you can do off spawn. 
Excuse me, getting a nice spawn there, getting shots on Gunner. Gonna clean up Baxter and get his revenge. Shots on Vard now. It's had a very awkward spawn there, a lot of shots on different players, no chance of cleaning anything up, and it's, it's very difficult sometimes when you can't get a kill. It's incredibly frustrating. Just creating those assists for the rest of the players, and you want to be cleaning people up. Yeah, you want the kills, people stealing your, stealing your goods. Still on board with Dignitas Fusion, as he's going to be pushing along to Blues for Gunner. The other FFA winner, it's an easy five shot. Taken out by Blackjack. Still, the score's very close, apart from around the bottom, there's kind of five, six players looking at the top. JB there with a nice headshot through the rectum of one of the players there. That was a remarkable headshot. Jack's a tiny lead now, three kills. Three kills is a huge amount in this sort of free But when you're gonna nade yourself, it Jack doesn't help. Me. What a nade. We got some more tweets coming in. Ben Johnson says, Buck 57 and take it all the way. Smithy 45 asks, are we vicious? Are we delicious? He certainly is. Gunner's gonna take it. And Lethal, Lethal X, also known as Explicit, says, TSG Bob on top one FFA. Not a lot of you are gonna get that, but for those of you do, you're very old. You're very old, <laughs> yes. Well, shout outs to Woody. Woody Woodsaw, Lee Explicit for sticking around. Back to the dropping under the base, getting the better of Buck And there it is, the assassination in the head. Oh, and because you go for the double, he could not. Jackie B, standing on main stage, getting the big assassination medals. Got that in his back pocket. Bit of showboating? Showboating all the way. There's no good reason to do that. <laughs> Put himself in a terrible position there. He could have got a double if he just assassinated him. We've seen so far very solid shots from all players. No big chokes, but it's, it's looking very, very I want very more difficult. chokes. I want more chokes, if I'm honest. No fear from Baxter. Jumping out on no shield. Doesn't manage to clean anything up. He's going to die for that. Jackie B, looking confident. He's real oh, relaxed in his chair. I mean, he's been in every FFA final at ECL, and he's used to this uh, pressure environment. He knows what it's like to be on main stage. He knows how to play free for all, and he wants this win. He really wants it. He wants to win. He's a confident, he's a confident player right now. But does he have what it takes in these few games to seal it and finally get his first win? And Brammy, oh, oh goodness, that was a dirty one. And Fusion, he gets a double kill. Trades with Fusion. Vard, Vard there. What a solid shot from Vard. One the of, anchor himself going yeah, against himself. Hard. Claiming he's, a lot of players claim that Vard is one of the most consistent players in Reach. Again, tweet us what you think of that. Vard's consistency. He's a player who does not spam. He does not spam. <laughs> He does not spam. <laughs> Everyone spams a little sometimes. Again, we're looking to see Spammy Rami running at JB, giving him the spam attack. Great oh, nade. What a grenade. Can't make it into no bit of fusion. Oh, Ooh. Scott Pace. nearly getting the treatment. Pace your shots wide. <laughs> Almost gets taken down there by Vard. And a fantastic spawn there from Vard. Fox no one seems to be looking at him, and now they are. I spoke too soon. Gets a kill on Rami. Cleaned up by Blackjack. And again, Blackjack. He is actually dead last. So Jay Tarrant, he may have actually been correct there on that tweet. There we see. Both 57. Looking, looking serious. Spotting his Sennheisers. Very lovely. Close the earphones. He can't hear what we're saying. I hope he can't. So we can rip him to shreds. It's going to get grim in a minute when he starts placing last. Well, at the moment we see four players kind of contending for first place in the first map. It's kind of around the 30 to 27 kind of area. No one really stepping away. And, but the power lads at the top, along with Fusion, looking strong. Looking very strong indeed. Again, we see Baxter starting to walk away now with a somewhat of a lead. He's starting to lead the pack, and Buck20 can't get a kill. He cannot get a thing there. There we are. And the players. Everyone looking very serious. Game faces are on now in the FFA final. This is all business. Yeah, strictly business. He's going to back away from that battle there. Wise decision. Bavada the better angle. And that grenade has your name all over it, Buck20, and he takes the shields down in a very difficult situation. Bottom middle there, gets cleaned up straight away. The strange thing is, I've seen a lot of players get a lot of kills by going bottom middle, where now it seems, in this one, this final, it's a death trap. It seems a death trap. Every player has got their eyes on it. No Maybe. man's land down there. It's a real no man's land. It's a high yeah. risk. Oh, that could have been bad. She cleans Fusion up nice and cleanly there. Clean cleanups. Spotless. But that could have gone horribly, horribly wrong. Could have seen a very dirty ninja on main stage. We're still on board with Blackjack. No, he's not as experienced as some of the players here, but by no means is he lacking talent. He's going up against Baxter, going to take him out with the beatdown. Jack gets a nice right hook to the face, cleans him up. No shield now, trying to make a quick move around, see if he can clean up any fights. Good awareness. There's a teleport on Rami. Family Rami gets taken clean out, but Baxter gets the revenge with the nade. And there he is. Dead Pauly last. D. Pauly D, there he is. And dead last, Blackjack is starting to climb the way up the board now. I, bet, I really expect this to stay tight. Really until the end. I don't think we'll know who the winner is when the third game is finished. It'll go down to the maths. It's going down to the maths. 
And we're starting to see Fusion and Baxter actually climbing a good three or four kills ahead of... Oh, Baxter rather. Climbing maybe, ahead of the co of competition now. Maybe a uh, gunner trying to gun for Baxter has hit him in the arse because he's currently in last place, Baxter's in first place. And it doesn't seem like it's the same play that we saw at the last ECL. No, this is not the man that won his last tournament. But again, it's, it's still the first game of his early days. We've still got five minutes left in the game. If we can see either any of these players slowly climb the ranks and get a consistent place across the game, you know, a couple of third places, a couple of second places, they're easily going to win that. Jackie B there, Mr. Steel Series, look at that. Not very happy with what just happened yeah. there. Don't know what he just said there. Those at home may have lit red. On board we've now seen with Jack. Tied for the leader. Losing ah, the lead. We've seen Fusion take the lead on the five minute mark. A lot of fans for Scott, mainly his Dignitas teammates, they love him. He's and they're going to cheer him until the end. Well, Buck 20, keep him calm. Takes Baxter down. Buck 20 sporting the flashy spot and brings his own hard drive. He's wearing his best duds for the final. He looks Great smart, there. clean and ready for war. He's had a shower sh and a shave. <laughs> He's looking good. Buck 20 there getting shot across the map. Speak of the devil. Again on board Crouching. with Baxter. Baxter playing, he's playing a real sort of cautious game. He's not running around too much. He's now trying to get away from danger, but he's playing smart. He's using his, map, his cross map awareness. And there, crouching there, gave him the upper hand on Blackjack, but Vard knew too well where he'd be standing. Vard could smell a Jack a mile away. He knows his teammate way too well and left him a nice present. He recognises his scent from oh, across Vard the map. Oh, Vard again. Oh, smells him out and cleans him up. Now, Baxter in third place now. Vard climbing the board here. And 